I can't believe I'm saying it folks, but what's inside this box has got me all excited. Who would have thought it? Someone who's never really gotten on with Innovate trail running shoes until I tried the Terra Ultra G270 earlier in the year is excited about another trail running shoe from this brand. So let's get this box open and show you guys what's inside. So I really do feel that 2021 is gonna be a very strong year for the Innovate brand. And I'm sure that what's inside this running shoe box is gonna surprise a lot of you guys at home. I know when I first opened the box and took my first look at the shoe, I was really surprised and very excited. Something very different from Innovate. So without further ado, drum roll please. Let's get this box open. This shoe is hot off the press. It only had its official world press launch yesterday. We're very lucky to have a pair. And it is the all new trail running shoe from Innovate, the Trailfly Ultra G300 Max. Another nice snappy running shoe name there that just rolls off the tongue. First up, just wanna say a massive thanks to Lee from Innovate for sending us a pair of the Trailfly Ultras over early. It's so important to get hold of these shoes early so we can get our feet in them, get out on the trails, get some mileage in these shoes so that we can bring you guys some helpful and some interesting information about the shoe. So there's lots of reasons why this is a very exciting shoe from Innovate uh, and you can probably see a lot of them reasons already. I was so excited to tell you all about the shoe that I couldn't wait to get 30 miles in it so we're bringing you a video today the plan for today's video is we're going to give you as much information as we know about this new trail running shoe like I said it has just had its official world press launch yesterday and we actually filmed this video on Monday so there are a few details that we're not quite sure about but we're going to give you all the information we know we're going to have a good detailed look at the shoe itself and then we're going to be grabbing the cameras and we're going to be taking these bad boys out on the trails of Cornwall and we're going to be bringing you guys along for the first run so why is this trail shoe so exciting? Firstly, Innovate the brand have been working very hard since 2018 using a material called graphene, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are fully aware of. For those of you that aren't, graphene is a very impressive material indeed. It is 200 times stronger than steel, but it is also the world's thinnest material and it boasts amazing levels of flexibility. Before now, Innovate have always worked that graphene material into the outer outsole rubber on some of their trail running shoes and that's created very sticky outsoles and super durable rubber compound on those outsoles. This shoe is the first time they have worked that groundbreaking material graphene into their midsole compound creating G-Fly compound. Now, speaking of midsoles, who would have thought we'd ever see an Innovate shoe with an oversized rockered midsole? How times have changed when it comes to running shoe innovation and development. So you can see lots of firsts for the Innovate brand in this shoe, and I've got to say, I really like the look of this shoe. This is a bold statement in this bright green and black colorway that Innovate have become very well known for. But I also think it's taken a few design cues from a Hoka shoe, having this very deep oversized midsole, that aggressive rocker worked into that midsole, and you're sunken into that midsole. So you've got a, a guide rail around your foot. Again, very similar to a Hoka in construction. I haven't got any figures on the depth of that midsole, but I am happy to say that this shoe runs off somewhere around a six mil drop on the heel. So not zero drop like the Terra Ultra G270, which I reviewed earlier in the year, which I personally think is a real good move for Innovate. It was the only thing people had negativity about when it came to the Terra Ultra, and it actually put quite a few people off trying and running in that shoe. I'm a big fan of a six mil drop on a running shoe, especially a shoe that I'm gonna be running distance in. The midsole also has this very interesting sort of flex group 
groove worked across the midfoot of the shoe. Now I'm sure that's there because we've got this deep midsole and it's quite a wide platform. It's there just to improve flexibility. Shoes constructed like this can be quite stiff at the midfoot. So very excited to see how that performs while out on the trails. All you fans of the brilliant graphene rubber outsole are going to be very happy because this shoe still carries that brilliant rubber compound on the outsole. But you've got to have a look at how aggressive these lugs are on that outsole. This is going to be one grippy shoe all year round if the outsole of the Terra Ultra G270 is anything to go by. When it comes down to the upper of the Trailfly Ultra, no real surprises there. It's very much an innovate upper construction, especially in this green and black colorway. So we've got this very soft to touch, lightweight, breathable, engineered mesh construction. And then we've got some nice overlays around that midfoot just to give you that nice midfoot specific hold. And then it's finished off with this nice toe bumper for a bit of on trail protection. Also very similar to the Terra Ultra, the shoe has a very thin tongue with not a lot of padding in it and it is attached to the internal walls of the midfoot of that upper again. We haven't got a lot of padding around the ankle or in the heel cup as well so it's going to be really interesting to see how that crosses over to comfort. It was probably my only negative that I had when I reviewed the Terra Ultra was maybe a little bit more padding in that tongue and around the ankle and the heel collar would have made the shoe a little bit more comfortable over distance. Also let's just double check have we got yep we've got them that great uh, boomerang footbed in this shoe as well that we had in the terra ultra this was a feature i really enjoyed in that shoe it made the shoe feel very plush and very comfortable underfoot let's just pop this back into the shoe when it comes down to weight of the trail fly ultra uh, in a men's UK 9.5 that this is, it does weigh in at 350 grams. So not the lightest shoe in the world, unfortunately. To be fair, it doesn't actually feel that heavy in hand. I was quite surprised when I put it on the scales and it said 350 grams. I haven't actually got the RRP of this shoe yet. Like I said, the official world press launch is on Wednesday and I'm sure all that information will be given out there. But what I'll do is any information we've left out or we haven't got, I will leave it in the description below so you guys can check it out. So lots of innovations in the new Trailfly Ultra G300 Max. That's easy for me to say. But there's also some other exciting news at Innovate. The brand has actually been bought back by its founder, Wayne Eddy. Um, late last year, he bought the company back after selling it in 2015. It's all been kept under wraps while he sort of spearheaded the team working on the innovations and developments in this new trail shoe. So I'm predicting massive things for the Innovate brand in 2015. 2021 and I'm sure the launch of the Trailfly Ultra is just the first of many new innovations we're going to see from them this year but I have definitely held off long enough guys I've been so excited to get these shoes on my feet and get out running in them but I really wanted to bring you along for the first run and our first impression so I think the best thing we can do is go and get our running kit on grab these bad boys and let's head out onto the beautiful trails of Cornwall and let's give this very new and exciting trail shoe its first run. This is going to be interesting. So we have come up to the North Cliffs of Cornwall. It's about a five minute drive from home, so not very far. I thought it'd be really good today to show you some of the other beautiful trails that we get to running in Cornwall and not just running on the towns all the time. But I also thought it was a really good mix of terrain up here to really test this shoe out. So we're gonna warm that ankle up. I'm still recovering from that ankle sprain. Then we're gonna get these on, lace them up, and then we're going running. So before we talk anything running shoe related, I've got to show you the sights, haven't I? Look at the view from up here on the North Cliffs. Such a stunning place to come and run. A lot of the trails are very runnable along here, but you've got some really nice steep descents, technical descents as well, and some really steep climbs to get the old heart going, lungs going, and legs pumping. So let's, uh, let's continue running, and we'll show you some of the sights on the way, and we'll talk about this new shoe from Innovate. 
So we are just over a mile into the run. The ankle really is making massive jumps in the right direction now. It feels so much stronger. No discomfort, no pain, a lot less stiff. So definitely good with the rehab. So first impressions of the shoe so far is feels pretty comfortable straight out of the box. Fits my foot shape really well. So this is a UK 9.5. I would say this is definitely true to size. Whereas I found the Terra Ultra sized up a bit small and I had to go up to a UK 10. Midfoot of the shoe feels really connected. I feel really locked into that upper and I can't try to work out whether it feels a bit softer in that upper as well. Obviously we'll know that more when we put longer mileage into the shoe. All you Innovate lovers will be happy to hear it still feels like an Innovate shoe. Yes, it looks very different to their other shoes, but I still know I'm running in an Innovate shoe. Anyway, let's push on, get some more miles in this shoe and we'll give you an update as we go on what I think of the grip, what I think of the cushioning and how the shoe's running, but let's crack on. The current situation in lockdown, I haven't been up on the North Cliffs for a long time. And you forget how stunning it is up here, but also what great running it is, you know? This is pretty flat for a lot of the time, so if you're looking to push on pace-wise on the trails, great place to come and do some speed work. But then the further you go up the North Coast, the more hilly, the more technical, and the more challenging it gets. We actually do a lot of our Tuesday TNT crew runs up here, whether it be running along the North Coast, heading into Tahiti Woods, or whether it be running to Bassett's car park and hitting the big dips for some hill training. And then you've got all these stunning views to keep you company on your run. Such an inspiring place to come and train. They've even laid this kind of gravel pathway down now. so. Again, a lot more accessible for a lot more people. We weren't sure about it to begin with, but it's actually great to come up here and do some intervals on this gravel path because you can really pick up some speed. And speed work is great, but I think you get even more bang for your buck if you do that speed work, interval work on the trails. It just makes it that little bit harder. So we are about halfway into our run, three miles done. I've been keeping my runs around that 6K mark while that ankle still rehabs, just to be on the safe side. I think this is a pretty good spot to stop and uh, give an update on the shoe, have a little bit of a drink as well. But so far, so good. The shoe is feeling really comfortable. The first few things I've noticed is, even though we've got that very deep midsole that looks very hoka-like, it's not that springy, soft, sort of bouncy feel you'd get, say, from a speed go. It is a little bit denser, a little bit firmer than that. So all you sort of innovate traditionalists will probably like that feel underfoot. It definitely feels like you've got a lot more going on in that midsole of the shoe, say, compared to a Terra Ultra. Obviously, you've got a six mil offset, which I am loving. It feels a lot more natural for me to have that kind of offset in the shoe. But you also feel like you're getting a bit more underfoot protection with the depth of that midsole. And it definitely feels a bit softer and a bit plusher. And then you've got that rocket shape in the midsole that's working really well so far. It feels very similar to the rocker in the North Face shoe, that Vective Infinite that we reviewed earlier in the year. Um, working really well, feels really efficient as you're going through your running cycle. So definitely positive on the first run so far. Far, but we're going to head back to the van we'll show you a few more sites along the way and then we'll give you a bit of a debrief when we get back to the van so i just thought i'd run up a bit and show you bassett's car park so that's what we call bassett's car park up on the north coast of cornwall if you're ever down in cornwall and you are looking for a challenging short training run get yourself to bassett's car park head out on the coast path towards porth tower and Stunning section of coast path, but super challenging. Out that way, you've got the dips. So you get seven or eight real sharp technical descents and some really steep climbs on the way out of them valleys. Out and back is about six or seven miles and you get a proper workout with lots of elevation. Well worth coming down for if you're looking for a hard session. So grip wise on the outsole, as to be expected, like I said, back at the flat, 
with that graphene rubber compound and that real nice aggressive deep lug pattern the grip feels great this shoe is going to offer awesome traction all year round and the upper definitely feels a bit more forgiving than it was on the terra ultra feels quite soft across that tongue obviously i've only done what four or five miles so we'll really find out on some longer runs in the shoe but first impressions definitely feels a lot more comfortable around that midfoot no irritation from the ankle collar so feeling pretty good been a super positive run on every front i've got to say it's the best my ankle has felt um, since the ankle sprain i felt like i could up the pace even on the technical bits i felt really confident really strong and it's the first time since the ankle sprain that i actually feel like i'm back running again and um, to be fair i probably didn't need this jacket i've got a bit of a sweat on because i've been bobbing along running so slow i've been running in a jacket but i actually picked up the pace and, and moved at a pretty reasonable pace today so it is great to be back as far as the shoe goes as well, that has been a positive run. A really good run out, first run in a shoe, felt super comfy, no issues, no irritation, no problems to speak of whatsoever. To be honest, it didn't feel a lot different running in the shoe from the Terra Ultra, so it still feels very Innovate-like. But the few things I would have changed in that Innovate Terra Ultra are the things that they've changed in this shoe. Putting in that six mil offset is a brilliant thing. It felt a lot more natural for me rather than the zero drop. Having that deeper, more cushioned, more protective midsole with that rocker motion worked into it felt very comfortable and very efficient. And the upper felt softer, more forgiving, no issues around the ankle, no issues with the tongue or the laces pushing through the tongue. Obviously, this is the first run, first impressions, and we'll get a much better understanding of the shoe in general as we put more miles into it and as we get some longer runs in it as well. It's going to be really interesting to see how innovate purists feel about this shoe. You know, the guys who like the X-Talon mud claws, the more aggressive, more stripped back shoes from Innovate. It's going to be interesting to see what they think about a shoe with a much deeper, softer, more cushioned midsole. We're obviously going to continue to run in the shoe and get a good 30 miles plus in the shoe. And then we'll be bringing you our full in-depth review at the channel. But really hope you've enjoyed our first impressions video on the Trailfly Ultra G300 Max from Innovate. It's going to take a bit of time to get used to that name. I've really enjoyed running in the shoe. It's been a real pleasant experience. If you enjoyed it, guys, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It only takes a second to subscribe. It's completely free to do. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified of future content on the channel. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. We will see you on the channel very soon. But as always, stay safe and keep on running.